Hi, my friends and family. It's me, your friend Shrey. I'm talking today about contracts and expansion in relationships and projections on the one. When you have the eyes to see, it is obvious and apparent through the power of name signatures. You sign your name on the contract. The semantic power of the word or nimity must most souls in flesh suits these days, for a very long duration since up till now, are still in full obedience and acceptance of a completely contracted reality. Nothing wrong or abnormal about monogamy or sacred heterosexual union, uh, friendships, and loving businesses, loving business partners. Yet in the ancient days, the dark controllers, the usurpers and middlemen, gods, created the rental contract, the marriage contract, the mortgage contract, which more often than not can and will duh, take over your whole life. The whipped husband or modern box slave. I'm listening to Spyro Gyro Live, by the way. Thanks, guys. Hope you don't mind. How dare I? You might ask. You just see my white ass all alone in the forest or in the box. I could just as easily get married to this structure. I did what I wanted to do, keep it all nice and clean and shit. I don't want to be around my sexual misery programming, anti hierogamy style of cube everything, cube everything, cube everything. No. Mm. It's more often than not in a square contract to the box, will take over your whole life. The whipped husband or modern box slave. Just like religions and cults, many people hide in relationships. Good natured people, or they just don't want to deal with the rainmakers, what's happening externally. Many hands, easy work, they say. And Responsibilities or in financial or cozy sexual or otherwise codependent relationships. These seemingly co cozy relationships can be, of course, deadly and treacherous in the end. Or the discovery of narcissism hidden in that person. The unwanted devil hiding in their details. When that other person, that narcissistic the covert narcissistic person appears all of a sudden or you become codependent with someone and codependent and this codependency can destroy your self-confidence um, and make you feel small if there's not equanimity if they're not understanding that we're all the same for real especially I have had both of them. Uh, you know, in the Mayan creation story, the Mayan myth of creation, it was not Yahweh or the goddess. It was a man and a woman got together. So perhaps the Mayan creation story is the most accurate. I mean, when you think about these flesh suits, right? It takes sacred union. The great desire to be a self-made man and a tendency to appear needy because I because I suffered from covert narcissism myself when I was younger in particular or being naturally empathic attracting mothers to help me we are all remember this never forget when we're fully healed originally and in the fifth dimension we are all we are all completely whole when we're healed within okay but for a part of the game or experiment of human life, we're given free will and 
these bodies are either a male or female, which is a half of the yin yang, half of the tantric bliss. So our physical outer suit is half of creation, obviously. So this is the way the creator designed it. So we have to have reverence for this rather than disrespect. Um, so, um, a friend of mine's, um, husband just, um, you know, uh, did themselves in and this was a, a person I was helping and I, you know, I wasn't aware of the situation. And so, uh, it was really intense and stressful, but, um, this, uh, you know, I always felt like I worked for half a company because this man never accepted me. And, you know, I guess it, you know, shows how, how actually caught he felt. Um, it's really sad. And, um, but this person, you know, is, a uh, really into this concept, right? Of the sacred marriage. Yeah. So, and then my, another one was my mother. She's always been married. Um, uh, my, my mother and, um, she married her second husband after my dad is a Vietnam vet. So it's pretty heavy. They were actually dating before he went to Vietnam and he had children with two other women and then they remarried 30 years later. How about that? A romance story. Well, Jesus said, you know, Yeshua said, when two or more are gathered in my name, I am there. What does that mean? That means the frequency of the Holy Ghost or Christ is present when two or like if someone watching this, I'm using Tesla's amazing 130-year-old invention with the CIA's infiltration to shoot it out to you so if I come with the spirit of the Holy Ghost or the sacred true Christ however this is obviously how the dark shadow beings use the hive mind the collective unconsciousness to destroy people and make them stay 3d flesh suit slaves um, when two or more are gathered unconsciously right so this is true uh, the spirit is spirit is magnified, and the Holy Ghost is there where two or more are gathered under the name Yeshua. This is true, whatever the source of the uh, of this statement. However, it is contingent upon the believers being be truths to create the queendom of heaven on earth. Okay, it's contingent upon those who are gathered to be. In the pure essence of the Divine Mother. Okay, this this time uh, with more gadgets and no fake God rulers. Okay, no fake middlemen, demiurgic gods in the way. No Anunnaki gods to tell you what to do. Obviously, no man is an island, right? I would perish if I don't have a woman or girlfriend in my life eventually, okay? We need relationships to grow. Now, codependency is simply financial or energetic vampirism going both ways, vampire cord, not to intentionally or narcissistically abuse the other person or, or, or push over Pollyanna kind of person. Like It's very rare that a codependency is not abusive, what I'm saying on a subtle level, but People do this because they love you just to survive, or you love them, you help them survive. This can cause great stagnation. Um, how about this? The saying, my better half. A married person says, my better half. That's a really sick program. What the dark ETs want is to siphon your energy, as I've said 105 times in these videos. And they want to do it in a permanent, loose feeding drip, which is what... A narcissistic relationship can be. They get every time you have those fights, they're feeding, 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 feeding system. What could achieve this sick, nefarious goal better than this contracted, ex 
ex acceptance of the black robe controlled idea that you are half a person. When obviously that's true to reproduce, you need that other half. Half a person can never grow up psychologically. A, a traditional marriage is just a mind control program. If you believe this trash, you're only half a person. So, so vast, it takes their entire life. It's a mind, mind control program that takes over their whole life. That woman or man is, or is controlling them their whole life. Okay, that's, that's a sick psychological program. See my video, uh, My Mind Control, one of my first videos was called My Mind Control. It was Motown, and it's about how I used to believe love was an obsession as a young man. The funny thing about this is, when I was becoming obsessively infatuated with women and, and, and putting my foot in my mouth and my heart beating on my sleeve to ruin it, you know, because I'm a double Pisces, I felt like I had these superpowers because Hollywood had trained me to think that when I'm in love or infatuated, I'm Superman. And then I felt like Superman. So then I realized I have to use the power of discernment in Christ to summon the energy of true love whenever I um, need, you know, every day when I want to be real with myself and socially. It's funny, right? <clears throat> I was a stagnating hermit for many years after that, codependent um, for longer. These are not answers, okay? The answer is to take, if you form partnerships, you have to have equal respect. It's essential, okay? This is why a lot of people I know have businesses with their spouse or their best friend, but they don't hire people that they don't respect. In the modern Aquarian era, this is the way it's gonna be, not, not the boss and the slaves. No. The answer is to take to form partnerships not not on or under the table, but in the spirit, and trust yourself and trust yourself and the other. You'd never let somebody in a black robe arbitrarily send the relationship to a hell as they as or choosing or they're choosing get married in your heart. In your spirit, if, if that's what you want to do, if that's your destiny. But don't realize, but realize a contract with the system has zilts to do with happiness, respect, or faith in the real self. It is faith in the demiurge. Uh, my friend uh, Nick, uh, he told me when he was married, he put the marriage certificate by the bed when they were going to do the, the sacred act. I'm like, that's a heavy mind control program. They put it by the bed. Instead, know if the relationship is real, nothing can take it away until the divine or you or that man or woman chooses to create uh, partings. Thus, in essence, you can begin to reject codependencies, particularly with narcissists, or at least try to stonewall rather than have verbal cussing each other out all the time. As you know, it will be or become rotten. Did you ever um, become a Lord of the Rings who was able to disappear because you were a normie in society, because you were married, you could disappear? That's what that movie's really about. Does you ever think about that? It is up to you to cleanse, demold, or keep your relationship and your communication um, no one else can do that for you. Um, I gave my dad this little thing when I was a boy. It was a little plaque, and it's, it showed a bird with its reflection on the water, and it said a parent's gifts to the, their ch children are, are to have roots and wings. And he, he loved it. And Versus, um, you know, compare that idea to, a, to the cage of narcissistic codependency and, or what they call the ball and chain of marriage. Okay, and truly within expansive relationships, you might often learn that most contracts in the Saturn Moon Matrix box system are corrupt satanic facsim facsimiles of the of the soaring, healing, and helping that you, you will feel in a true hierogamic partnership. Everyone possible in a true everyone possible in a true heart-centered goddess ordained partnership. In this situation, you will grow. 
you, you, you might even get your wings back, but you might even grow your wings back. But if, if you learn, if you lean on them and let them do it for you, 